All right, gang. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been out in the woods. Uh, I was planning on getting out Thanksgiving and doing a second annual Thanksgiving uh, Campbell video, but it was wet and muddy and just unbelievably warm uh, for for this area this that time of year. And even now, uh, we got a lot of melted snow. So it's kind of unseasonably warm right now. Yesterday it was really warm in the 40s. Today I don't think it's supposed to get above freezing. Um, so should be a great day. I apologize guys, it's been so long since we've been out, but we are, uh, we're at it. We're gonna get out and we're gonna have some fun. No doubt about it. All right, so we got the old ski safari that we used to get out in the, in the woods. You can see we got the sled packed up and see that big piece of styrofoam i'll explain that later um, but we're ready to get out and get rolling here Gang, so I think I think we found a spot. Take so we got the stream right here, and I think what we'll do is set up right in here, right in this spot right there. So let's uh, let's get to work. gang so I'm gonna try to open up some of this here for the tent I think it's <coughs> I think it's 10 foot across I think one two three four five six seven eight something like that something like that and let's see here one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So what I'm looking to do is clear out this area the best I can. They don't have to be perfect. Probably not going to be a hundred percent perfect here. Whew. I tell you what, gang, I am out of shape. It doesn't help. We got, as you know, things going on with the ticker. So, probably. Not the best idea. Probably not the best idea to be shoveling. But whatever. Yeah. I tell ya. I get tired fast. I get tired fast. And that's the thing. Oh, takes a little bit of work. I still gotta get firewood, and get the tent set up. Yeah, well, tent set up first, and then we'll focus on the firewood. I definitely wanna have it set up so I'm facing, the door's facing that way, I think. Cause then I'm looking at the stream, it's kind of a pretty view, you know? That's not perfect, but I think it'll do. 
All right. I wish I had my bag. I need my. I gotta. I gotta walk back to the snowmobile. It's not far. I wasn't able to get the snowmobile right to this spot. It's just over the other side of the hill over here. I would say maybe 50 yards away. It's on the other side of Isaac Hill. So Isaac Hill Camp is going to be just over that knob over here. You guys see me do uh, some hammock camping just over here. But <coughs> I wasn't even going to come down over here. But I took a, I made a trail out to Isaac Hill Camp. And I, and I actually was going to camp somewhere else totally. And then I decided, you know what? Let's do this. It's kind of remote back here. It's a pretty spot, you know. So, yeah. I'm going to take a walk and go get my bag. Got the hatchet on it. So I'm going to need that to pwn in my tent stakes. We'll be back. Still a heck of a walk. It's still a heck of a walk. I don't know if you can see this, but I brought my stove down. We'll take a look at that again a little bit later. That's the homemade stove that I did last year. <coughs> we did a couple camp boats with it, worked really well. <coughs> we got the fire hiking hot tent that we got last year. And this thing did really well for me last year. I enjoyed the heck out of it. So, yeah, we got it again this year. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. The ground was definitely softer than I thought it was going to be. Whew. Oh. I got a lot of work yet, guys. Oh, I still got firewood. For the night. I think I gave myself plenty of time though. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Let me tell you guys. I'm whooped. I'm whooped. I am sorry. I am sorry I'm having a hard time. Last year this was <laughs> way easier on me. Way easier. So, yeah, <laughs> I get a little tired, guys. Oh my God, let me tell you. But the whole thing of it is, is I like doing this. I love getting out. So, I gotta keep trying to feel ways to keep enjoying getting out.
And if it means it takes a little longer for setup, so be it. That's the way it goes, right? So be it. The basic. Got the basic layout set up. Now let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get, the, get the pole up. Yeah, this old timer gets tired now. I get tired. Uh oh, he pulled out a stake. Well, it looks like what I gotta do is go around and tighten things up a little bit. So, let me do that. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit here. All right, give me a minute. All right, guys. We got the basic setup. Don't have a, don't have a stove pipe right yet or a part stove yet. Hold on. So here's our stove. I made this last year. I've used it a handful of times already. And uh, it works really well. And so I have not had the money to buy a stove off of Amazon. I was open to this year, but I didn't. So we're gonna still use our old homemade stove from last year so all right I'm gonna get that set up next Put the stove in here. That's uh, you can see we got a damper in there. So we have a way to control the flame. A little homemade damper. I don't know if you notice this. So this was galvanized pipe. This stuff is still pretty shiny, but that's outside the tent. This has been burnt many, many times. So I'm not at all concerned about galvanized poisoning because it's been burnt so many times. Basic setup done. 
I got some tweaking to do yet, but we'll get after that after I get some firewood taken care of. We'll see you guys in a while. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you this. This is just styrofoam, half inch sheets that I made sort of together. It makes a pretty thick bed that way, or I can open it up. I want to see how I open it up now. Like that, it makes a huge sleeping pad. So that's an inexpensive way. And let me tell you, I was on this last year when it was negative 15 below, and my butt didn't get cold at all. So there you go. Does it work? Darn right it works. Alright guys. Well definitely working on some firewood here. And then I have some at my campsite from last year. So I'm gonna go retrieve that with the snowmobile after a little while. But holy cow, get a sweat going here guys, let me tell you. I should, I do have my thermometer. I need to get that set up too. But we'll take a look at that in a while. Till then, we're just gonna keep processing some firewood. Well guys, got firewood, <coughs> so I had to cut a lot of firewood. What I learned last year, basically if I keep the fire going, to keep the fire going, it takes about three logs every two hours. And that's what this, you know, air damper down and stove damper down, so yeah, about three logs every two hours. So I figure, let's say, we were, I don't know, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., right? Maybe 12 hours. So every two hours, you're putting three logs in. So let's see, three times six is 18, right? So I should only go through about 18 logs over the course of the night. And so what I did was I actually more than doubled that. So I cut probably, what did I count? I think it was at 42 or something like that. So 1836 is double, so it should easily get me through the night um, and then some. But that's, that's kind of what I learned last year was three logs every two hours. So we got a thermometer inside outside. So we got this I'll put somewhere outside on the tree and then I'll have this on the inside. Get some magnesium scraped on there. All right, let's see if we can get a Stuff is a little bit damp because it's so warm out. Well, I feel like it should go. There she goes, there she goes.
definitely getting better. The feral rod skills are slowly improving. Oh, hey there, guys. So, you can see we got a fire going. Drying on my gloves a little bit. I gotta start working on some dinner. It's gonna get dark here before too long. Oops, sorry about that. It's gonna get dark here before too long. So, uh, yeah, I probably should be working on some dinner. All right, we got the brats cooking. Working on some dinner. Holy cow, guys. The, uh, whew, the freaking fire. So, this camera makes it look a lot lighter <laughs> than it actually is. <coughs> but anyways, dinner was a fail. <sighs> Cooked up the brats and they weren't, you know, doing what brats normally do. They weren't... <sighs> You know, creating a lot of juice. They weren't making a lot of fat. They were, I don't know what the deal was with them, but yeah. So I took a bite and I was like, what the heck? Ugh. You could just taste it was, they were bad. <laughs> I was like, so right from the get go, I, when they were cooking, I, they weren't cooking the way a brat would normally cook. And then they, yeah, oh. I can't even describe the taste. It was a foul taste. So, yeah. Dinner's a fail. Dinner's a fail. Anyways, check it out. Let's see. Where's it? Uh, lots of smoke. But, wow. This camera makes it look way, way brighter than it is. No doubt about that. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, all I got is. Two beers that I was gonna have with dinner. So I guess I had two beers. I don't got no snacks with me today. I might take a ride on the snowmobile and see if I can go get something. We'll have to see. Anyway. Alright guys, I'll talk to you after a while. Alright gang, round two on the brat orders. Took a ride on the snowmobile. And uh, went and picked up some pre-cooked brats. So, all we got to do is warm them up. And they'll be good to go. That last set of brats, I'm telling you what, I don't know what was the deal. Alright guys, we got her. Oh, that's a nice, tasty, juicy brat. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with the other ones, but man, they weren't good. This, this is a good brat. That's what I wanted. Bratwurst, cooked up over some wood coals on the UCO grill, New Year's Eve. We're gonna have a drink as well. Yeah. Happy New Year's, everybody. Holy crap. Here we are in the woods. It's been a long time. I appreciate your guys' patience because I was all giving her hell. And I hadn't been home, literally. And this was awful because when I was home in Thanksgiving, I had planned a camp out, I had everything figured out, and it was just everywhere was mud. Just mud. So, that did not work out the way I hoped it would. Anyways, such is life. Here we are. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I have to look at the thermometer. I got a thermometer. I forgot about that. We'll check in with the temp a little bit later. But I'm going to get back to eating. I'm going to enjoy my brats. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Try it again.
Found a pile full of twigs, obviously. Gotta get them going. And then if we can get them going, we can get a fire going, right? Okay, so here's what I'm doing guys. The top number is the outside temp, the inside number, the lower number is the inside temp. I don't even know what that 95 is. I don't know what that means at all. But anyways, now you just seen it raise a degree. So, um, I'm trying to have it fairly low, you know, kind of about where I'd be laying so just above ground level because obviously at the top of 10 it's going to be hotter than heck but who cares what that says right it's that temperature right there like at ground level that's more important well it's going up again so okay so anyways one of the things i wanted to say uh yeah it's warm but so there's a vent up top I've got that open and also I don't zip even when it was like negative 15 degrees out I don't zip the door all the way and back on this wall up at top of my head right here I actually have it oh, the tent above the, the ground so we have ventilation coming in from behind me or above my head ventilation at the door ventilation at the top is open as well um if i had like a wall tent or if i was in a situation like say there was a heavy snow outside i would definitely have a co2 uh uh what carbon what no it's a co2 carbon monoxide uh protector or alarm in here i do have one uh just to, to you know try to stay safe in this situation, or, or, you know, a lot of times with this smaller tent, I try to keep it so I have some, absolutely have ventilation. I feel that's super important. But anyways, one of the things you got to be aware of when you're hot tenting, you know, a couple things, you know, you watch watch these videos and it's, it just seems like you go to, you know, they stoke the stove, you go to sleep, you wake up in the morning, everything's fine. I can tell you last winter when I did this, I had terrible sleep bags for one, so I, so my sleep system sucked, but every couple hours I'd stoke the stove, and the stove's arm, just, you know, arm length, so I can open it up, wood is right here, boom, fall back asleep, not a big deal, and I, I'm one of those guys that falls right back to sleep, so... But if I'm too hot, I don't sleep. But in the cold, the cold will eventually wake me up, for sure. So, so anyways, something to think about. All right. So I had it up to 50 degrees, and I just put one on a fire, so she cooled off a little bit. But outside temp, 28. Inside temp. 47 again i don't know what that 69 is i think that's like humidity or something i don't know later gang oh i'm not sure what time it is let's see oh, 322 it's 322 out. you're up it's snowing I don't remember seeing a forecast snow, but there it is. The fire was struggling to get going there for a bit. I woke up. I wasn't chilly because I had a sleeping bag with zero degree uh, sleeping bag. Although it doesn't, I can't zip it up because it's a little tight on me. It was keeping me warm. <coughs> But the snow was coming down, and I was like, huh, 
Well, that's interesting. And then I could tell it was a little cooler in here than it had been. So I thought I'd better check that out. I had to restoke the fire. Now we got that going again. So I just wanted to share the snow. Anyways, all right, I'll talk to you guys after a while. All right, guys. It's time to work on some coffee this morning. Let's turn this. There we go. I'm going to get the old Coleman stove going this morning. Get some coffee going here. We're slowly coming into our own. All right. Almost 8 o'clock in the morning. 29 degrees outside. Current temp in here is 47 degrees. So it was not a consistent 47 degrees all night. I was not up soaking fire all night. So. Um, that's what current temperature it is, current time. Alright. So that's what we got for morning. Nice, peaceful, calm morning. Got a little bit of snow last night, so. Not much. A little dusting, but it's still nice little, nice little snow. All right, guys, so we went and seen that there was some rabbit tracks over there and uh, squirrel tracks closer to the tent. So, yeah, I thought I heard something traipsing in the snow last night. The snow is crunchy, so that's why I, I thought I heard I heard something. But, you know, when you're out in the tent, you never know. So just enjoying a big old cup of coffee. you know off the uh coleman stove the old 530 coleman stove man i love that thing took a lot of work remember these cups i don't know if you've seen the videos where i was restoring this thing but these cups were ugly dull beat up took a lot of hours just to get that little bit of shine out of them actually they they were shinier they're getting a little dull again i might have to do some polishing but whatever what a beautiful morning. So just sitting in here, enjoying the coffee now that it's cooled down. And uh, then once I get this coffee down, it's teardown time. So again, thanks for coming along. Like, subscribe, follow. A thousand seems like a long ways away. But with your guys' support, we can get there. We can get there. All right, guys. Well, gang, I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I'm going to drink this coffee and uh, get packed up. But what a great night. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day camp out. Happy New Year's, everybody.